<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Good afternoon people, in case you don't know, I'm Paul from Rate My Beer, there's normally two of us at present, there's just one. Anyway, today there's two backstories to this review. The review is actually Hogarden Rosé, a 25cl bottle. Um, this review is based on Bazza, all the beer no ideas review, um, because what it was, I watch a lot of his videos and that, and he got a real cheap box. This is the first backstory, by the way. Uh, beer journey box, because obviously he lives up north and they could get them a lot cheaper. I had to buy one through third party because it done my head in. Keep watching his reviews of the differences, like with the 5.2 Stella, the small France kind of uh, France kind of bottles and that. And I thought I've got to try this, so I had to pay over double than him. But I got my box here, and I didn't have to drive 400 mile round trip to the Great Escape where Bazza got his from. And this was one of the reviews of his that baffled me because. I remember this one. I say I'm going to follow through, basically on the whole twenty, which I think Baz is pretty much through them now. I chose this one first because the second backstory. Uh, me and Michelle were in Brussels maybe six years ago. It's really hot, and Michelle got right into this drink. So, of course, it was on perfect draft. I don't know if it was at that point or later on. I'm sure it was on that point six years ago. I'm sure it's been on there for years. Um, don't quote me 100% on that. Anyway, we only had one machine at the time. And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to slow down my drinking a bit so I can, you know, really enjoy it and so on. And I'm like, yeah, that'll do for me. You know, I can drink some bottles and so on. Anyway, so we get the keg when we brought numerous other ones and everything. Then, of course, Michelle's drinking it. And I remember it was at our, when we had our caravan in Hythe. And um, she got totally sick of it. And I'm like, oh, come on, you've got to drink it. I've got to put the Frankie in. And I tried a pint. And I think the second one, I was like, no, 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 no. It's too sweet for me. Um, she didn't want it in the end. And it pains me to say this. I really shouldn't say this, but it's the only keg that we've um, poured a little bit down the, down the sink. And I do feel bad. Had I had two machines as a starting beer now and again, I could have done it. But I was the Frankie was cold in the fridge. There was no other beer there, and I was really desperate to get it in. And she got to the same situation, so Bonjour went to Hogart and Rose, because obviously I wanted my five pounds back, didn't I, for the keg? So, you know, you could have put it back in the fridge and swapped it back in, but we chose not to. I think we had something else, probably the standard Hogart was going in the fridge after that, because it was one in, one out, one in, one out. That's the same with a lot of people. So, anyway, that was it. So, yeah, that went down the sink. So this one, as I say, cost me a little bit more than it would have. It's Hogarth and Rose, as I said. Comes in at 3% ABV, and it's in a 25CL bottle. With your Hogarth and Rose bottle top. And unlike Bazaar, I'm going to put it in a near a glass. Than a pint pot. So, I'll provide that the right way, wouldn't it? Take that off properly. Ooh, almost, never mind, should have used the other thing. So yeah, here we go, let's get her in. Oh yeah, you can smell the raspberry there. Look at that. Then it is slightly cloudy. And one thing, as I didn't notice too much carbonation with this, that's quite carbonated. Might just be lively at the moment, I don't know. Ooh. And a bit of sediment at the bottom. Interesting. Yep, so there you go. Now, another thing, well I've got my bullet points here. They run out of bottles for the Hogarten apparently, in Hogarten, which was a 
is a place in Belgium, I believe. What I was reading, this is actually on Perfect Draft's website. So what they did was they had to use jam jars. And that's how this started. Because the fruit that was in the bottom of the jam jars, in with the beer, gave them a different beer. So that's where this came from. Why they made it 3%, God only knows. Anyway, you've got about a finger and a half, quite thick, pinkish head, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but yeah, do you know I'm in the glass, it doesn't look that bad, the heat's out today, um, what can I say, nothing that is thin bodies is what I thought, if I'm honest, but there you go, right, proof's in the pudding, five minutes in, I think I better get supping, Bazza, bazza, bazza. Oh. But then again, he did like inches sided, didn't he? So, nah, this is just, no, no way, Pedro. Right, all I'm getting there is a sugar burst and a load of um, raspberry, but the raspberry is really sweet and overpowering. I'm not getting the the other fruitiness or the really that it's you know it's a wheat beer in effect, isn't it? Obviously you've got no cloves, you've got no banana, but it's not even that that wheatiness, you know, with the malts, it's just not there. It's it's kind of. It's kind of a little bit watery as well, but then, yeah, you would get that with a 3%, and I get that bit. But it does have a full raspberry flavour, and if you like sweet things, I can get it. I know someone in one of the groups, his wife absolutely loves it, and I do get that, but on a personal level, oh, Jesus, God, no, it's a no no. I don't know if the dog will like it. Uh, German Shepherd's was quite partial to sweet things, but I know my Rottweiler's not going to play ball with that. He's going to look at that in his bowl and say, see you later, mate. It's just, um, no, no matter what way, I want to like it, um, I love liking every beer on the perfect draft, but this is one I've never reviewed the keg and I could never do 10 pints of it, I don't think Michelle could have said she's not present on this one for uh, personal reasons, um, I've got to give it a no. It pains me, but I can't like them all, can I? That is a no. And uh, if I'm being generous, I'll give it a rate my beer of 3 out of 10. I don't have to be bing the stick up, but that's a 3 out of 10 for me. If you like sweet things, as a member, it's only my personal opinion. You know, if you like sweet things, that might do it for you. But for me, that is no way, Pedro. Anyway, what can I say? I've gone on enough. You can't like them all. I've given this story. That's one of 20 I'm doing. And main, mainly they'll be following on Bazzers. Do check out his channel. The beer, no idea. He has no idea. Trust me. Bonjour.